Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. There's plenty of things that disappoint us when it comes to this game, but one of the things that EA did yesterday is near the top of the list for me, because it makes people lose coins, and ultimately it feels like some sort of manipulation to specifically the market. And yes, of course, we're talking about Path to Glory and Make Your Mark cards again today because there's a pack that's in the code that guarantees one of them and it might be dropping today as well. So we're going to talk about that and more if you're excited about it. Drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's go over yesterday's content. Honestly, it was a slow day. The best content from yesterday was me not editing out my frustration recording yesterday's video, which you all got to see live and in the flesh. That was good fun. Yes, I'm fine for all of you who are checking in. It was a long day a couple days ago, long weekend, but we're good. We're good. Yesterday, SBC-wise, let's talk about our player SBC that was Arda Guler. Finally, we had the leak. We were talking about him for the last three or four days, and he finally dropped. I think I'm going to end up getting this SBC done. The only problem is fodder is kind of hard to come by right now in this game. It's not as grindable and craftable as it has been in other weeks. But 5-star skills, 4-star weak foot, Arda Guler with 4 playstyle pluses. That's the key, right? It's a cheap SBC, usable. This is the definition of a fun card, if we're being completely honest. Not the most meta. But he's got four playstyle pluses. It's a player that a lot of people were looking forward to getting another special card here soon. It's live. He plays today, Turkey versus Georgia, in one of the two Euro games that are happening today. Yeah, it's just a fun card, to be completely honest. You would expect him to get the chemistry boost, which would actually be very beneficial for his card. He's, of course, got the Real Madrid link, so if you're still using Josalu, which I know a lot of people are in their teams, it's an easy link there. But he's going to get the extra Turkey Nation links once he does see the pitch in the euros i have no problems with this spc at all it's just a nice fun cheap card he looks like a little bit slow on the pace side but you know throw a hunter on him great passing great dribbling only caveat is probably the 88 reactions the 91 composure which at this stage of the game is a little bit low but that's a fun one to do right and it's only two squads it's like 180,000 coins 86 and an 88 so if you want to get that done go ahead and craft it up now the other spcs we had yesterday were just the player picks, the first one of which was the 85 plus player pick, which is the better one. 100% of the two player picks that we had yesterday. We love these. I did both, or I did all three of these yesterday and was able to pack one make your mark player. I got Miku Datsa. So, uh, yeah, these are worth doing. It's 84 rated squad. So, of course, with that lower tier fodder being in high demand with multiple SBCs, guess what's going up? Low tier fodder. 84s went from like one and a half thousand coins to over 2k if you're on a really low budget and just want something to trade with and bid on and flip these would be the great cards for that and 85s as well they went up a little bit yesterday i think these would be kind of like the better investment if you were trying to make a buy today four thousand coins they went up to like four and a half k they're still back down at four thousand coins with other sbcs that could be coming out i think i like the 85s and the 86s for that sort of like an investment situation maybe even all the way up to the 88s but the 84s are going to be continuing to move because this 85 plus player pick does drop every single day so that's worth crafting and worth doing uh, but again it does require an 84 rated squad the other player pick that we had yesterday is the 81 plus player pick which you know we've been in this 81 and 82 plus player pick back and forth for ages they finally changed something about this one it's a one of four player pick which is nice to have the four options instead of just the three the only issue is is that of course with that extra slot being in there they are now requiring extra players you have to turn in 11 golds into this player pick instead of just eight as it has been for the last number of weeks uh for the 82 and the 81 plus player picks that we had before so a lot of people are like uninterested in this 81 plus pick because it requires so many non-rares like when you think about it doing the exchange grind and oh well okay there we go minda wow that's the first copa make your mark card that i've actually packed not sure if he's going to get any upgrades but I got pop in that player pick as well. That is not how all these player picks look. I'll be completely honest because yesterday I was doing some of these as well. They're not terrible. Again, that fourth option being there is nice. It's just a little bit annoying and it feels like your crafting in the menus does not go as far because you have to turn in 11 gold rare players or sorry, 11 golds, two rares, but it's that 11 players, right? When you do an exchange, you're getting the same amount of non-rares back, but you're getting less player picks because you have to turn more of those non-rares in to craft these let's see what the second one looks like uh 84 so you know they're just they're there and 
you know, it's there. I don't know. It's a player pick to craft. We've said it since the beginning of the weekend. We've known and seen that the grind of the menus this week is just not quite as good as the previous weeks. And the make your mark cards do seem more difficult to pack. Of course, I just packed them right there. More of a fodder card. Um, the best card that I've packed out of this promo team, personally, is I don't even know. I think I've packed Le Norman twice. That might be literally the best card I've packed in this team. It's not as good of pack weight as it was during PTG. Um, but you know, they're still somewhat packable, mostly fodder. Now, again, we have that guaranteed pack coming today. That's going to be our biggest chance for those cards to at least get one of the bigger ones into our team. And we'll talk about that here in a little bit, but that was kind of all of the content that dropped yesterday. To be completely honest, there were no uh, evos, there were no objectives, and there wasn't a whole lot of refresh stuff as well, besides the 86 double, but there of course was more upgrades guys because we have the daily upgrades dropping every single day and it was from the three games we had yesterday in terms of the euros games it was a big day of upsets it was a pretty exciting day of the games of course you had the upset of romania 3-0 over ukraine but mudrick and dragason both saw the pitch so they both got their chemistry boosted bosnick got his chemistry boosted that was a big game right belgium losing that was kind of like the big upset so far i guess you could call the romania win an upset as well it definitely was but the belgium upset was probably the biggest one of, of yesterday i forgot and didn't even know that belgium was ranked third in the uh the rankings which i think maybe been was a little bit too high but that is what happened and then of course you had all the french upgrades right from that game france france winning one nil um and of course the biggest upgrade being bradley barcola if you actually compare his card to the 94 the boost that he got this is one of the better boosts that ea have given out they gave plus two physicality most of the upgrades as we talked about earlier were only plus ones across the board but he got plus two physicality and so he got plus two in each one of those different stat categories other than that i think everybody else just got a simple plus one saliba simple plus one haji got some pretty simple plus ones as well klaus are in there as well so those are kind of the updates uh yesterday of course the belgium cards dropped a lot on the market we'll talk about that in a little bit but i want to talk about some other things related to the market and some honestly things that were really upsetting yesterday to be completely honest on some of the cards prices right um not for any of the ones that i bought or sold but more so for stuff that ea did just in a random moment out of nowhere and i'm actually going to look up a couple of cards right now you may even know who i'm kind of mentioning already guys we're talking about the price ranges randomly lowering and they updated like almost all of the price ranges of almost all of the path to glory and the make your mark cards euro cards specifically yesterday on this game i don't know what triggered the price range updates to happen but so many cards got updated to either be extinct like this kuman remember kuman was 380,000 coins extinct when he first came out into packs and yesterday in the morning he was 600,000 coins 660k right um, um, and all of a sudden, boom, EA update the price range back down to what it was. They did a whole list, all the price ranges yesterday on the Euro cards. PTGs and Make Your Marks are right here. We'll talk about those in a second. But EA randomly updated this price, and everybody who had Kumin is now having a card that is less like half the price of what he was on the market before because they can't list him there because his max price is 380k this is the biggest one that doesn't make any sense to me like why does ea do this stuff bro it just seems so manipulative like the system the bot whatever is controlling this this has been a complaint all year long because it continues to happen and it continues to go unfixed um and again i don't know what's causing it um Again, it was like all the live cards that got updated in price yesterday, but it just adds another aspect of these live cards that a lot of people were enjoying trading with, enjoying making coins on them because they're just going up so much because they had the live potential with the upgrades and all that stuff. And then something like yesterday happens with a couple cards and people lose a bunch of coins on and it really sucks. And then it makes you think at any time, oh my goodness, EA could just screw over the price range of my card. And then I'm losing a lot of coins. Now, that Kumin's probably the biggest example of, of a card that is like losing people coins right now. Do not sell this card. Like imagine you had Kumin listed for 600K and then automatically went to relist 
your pr uh, card on the market, it would have instantly sold for 380k. So if you know anybody who has cumin, do not list them. Tell them to not list them. Uh, Lukaku is another one. Now, EA must have known ahead of time that Belgium was going to lose yesterday because Lukaku was above 1.1 million coins. His max price was 1.4 earlier, and he was at 1.1 mil. He dropped all the way down to 800k after the game, but his price range was lowered, and for a little bit of time, he was extinct on the market because... He was worth more than 1.1 mil before they lost and uh, not selling on the market. So that's one that was updated yesterday as well that was, um, you know, kind of a problem. And then looking down through this list, a couple other cards that I wanted to point out is Undav. I actually sold an Undav yesterday when I saw his price kind of go up. Uh, it's not on my transfer list anymore, but I sold an Undav for 400 and 50k let's just go take a look at this card really fast because he has had a really crazy move right he's been moving like nuts he was 384 spiked all the way to 450 so i was like oh my gosh i checked his price on flipping saw he's 450 and i sold it right i bought the card for 190k but then all of a sudden ea dropped his price range back to 400,000 coins people are that still own the card are getting out of it they're listing they're selling and now he is basically extinct like this 550 is still on the market is there from when his price was still 550k like that was his old max somebody must have listed a card for like two days or three days that was still up on the market but you can see his old max was 550k his new one is 400,000 coins now some of these price range updates make sense right like why in the world did nico williams have a 3.8 million coin max price who knows? Now he's back down to 1.5. All right, sure. That makes a little bit more sense. Um, you know, Okafor, they messed up with Okafor again. Okafor was minimum price 65K. They made a minimum 55K. He's still not selling on the market. But a couple of the price ranges that were updated yesterday that uh, maybe don't make sense anymore because they basically some of the price ranges they updated, like the cards were so close to the max price um, that they updated to that some of them are going extinct, like Pedri. Pedri was 1.3, 1.4 million coins, and now he's extinct at 1.4. And there's a couple other examples of cards that were like that. But again, it's just frustrating. It's frustrating when EA does this stuff, man, because you're like, what did what triggers this on a random Monday morning in the middle of the day for a lot of you guys for this to absolutely change uh, the entire landscape of the prices of these cards in a moment's notice. So again, it feels manipulative. It's something that's been happening all year, but it's con like consistently on the top of my list of things that EA do to really just tick us off because these cards have been absolutely phenomenal to trade with. And now a lot of people are feeling like, well, what the heck? I don't want to mess with these cards if they're going to get destroyed in price by the click of a button or a computer changing a price range. So anyway, speaking of these cards, I do want to look at the some of them price-wise because just kind of like how it's been over the past couple of days, they just keep rising. I've even invested in a few cards here because I think they're going to go up, right? Romania yesterday with the win. Dragason got the update. He went all the way to like 300,000 coins. He's back down to 200k. And I was thinking, you know what? This card could go back up a little bit. So I picked up a couple of him. I picked up a couple of Nico Williams for like 450k. He's been right around 500k. He dips down to 450. I think he's actually right now a little bit low, like 460, 450. But this is just a card that is really, really rare. He's got the 99 pace, the four play style plus I think he can do good, even though they have a tough matchup in their second game a couple days from now. And then I picked up a McKenny at 147,000 coins as well. But just look into this team. Oh, first thing I want to mention about this. Mudrik, Kolomani, and Dragason are not extinct. I think Footbin is having a slight issue updating these prices right now because these are the cards that just got updated to new versions because they have the plus chemistry on them now because they were literally a part of yesterday's updates so if you see all right now in footbin that they're like extinct and they show a zero price they're actually not they're on the market per normal but of course yesterday yesterday presented an opportunity with the lukaku and the troll sword if you look at these two cards to buy a card in the panic cell of an upset victory or, or a loss right so belgium were the favorites they lost the game so, of course, what happened is the prices dropped off a ton. Now, actually, I was just able to pick up a Trossard because he was really rare at 900,000 coins, and I just sold him for 1.04, so it was a good flip. But yesterday, Trossard was 1.2, went all the way down to 8.50 at the lowest point, and then started to rise up after that. He might be down at the low 900K range for the next day or so, but he's really, really rare, and for the same reason as Lukaku, right? They're getting panic sold after the loss. No upgrade for them but they're still in a group that they could advance out of and they could still end up getting three wins and getting more upgrades. So this is a really good opportunity to look at these two cards and to kind of remember this for the future and say, hey, 
these might be good investments if you time the low point right because they could rise up as there's more games to play and still upgrades on the line for them just the initial disappointment and the shock of them losing has made their card price go down. I also want to look at Petit because some of the French cards from yesterday, since Petit is not getting an upgrade, since France only scored one goal, and it was an own goal, but it does count. It's, an, it's one goal towards his record of, of upgrading. He was 680,000 coins yesterday during and before the game. He dropped all the way down to 560. I actually just picked one up at 555 because that's a huge drop off. These icons are very, very rare. And again, these are like the easiest upgrading cards. All you have to do is score goals. So sure for Petit and for France it's going to take a little bit longer they're going to have to wait for their next game and now they may not have Mbappe because of the injury the broken nose right so this is a card that if you bought it low enough and you're still making like a hundred thousand coins or something like that you might as well just hold he's not going to go down that much because he's still live he's still going to get his upgrades because France they're probably still going to score three more goals for him to get the plus one and the fourth play style plus. So there's still a lot of hype with the icons. And this is really the only icon so far that after a game has dropped down a lot in value, but still has a lot of upgrade potential and a lot of hype. So that's why I wanted to pick one up at 550K. He might drop a little bit lower. Who knows? Because there's a lot of people that invested in this card. And he was, yes, at 300K at one point. So 550K is still a lot. But then again, you look at the rest of the greats of the game icons and they're up like crazy. Really, what I'm trying to get at here is it's an opportunity to buy the dip. Even I would say the same thing with Kolo Mani, who was 800, 900,000 coins yesterday. He is like 700 or even under 700,000 coins right now with Mbappe being out. And he saw the pitch yesterday, so he got that first upgrade. But if Mbappe is out, that's actually more potential for him to see the pitch, of course, you know, you've got Giroud and other players out there that would be fighting for time with him uh, to get on the pitch for France's next game. But there's still potential and maybe even a bigger potential now that he could be involved for goals and assists, which would further his upgrades and, of course, more appearances. And, of course, France are still considered to be a team that could go far. So that's something to kind of think about with, like, Randall Colomani. I know uh, Shuameni is dropping a lot right now in price, but that's because he's still injured. He did not play yesterday. Um, and of course he did not get his upgrade yet. So that's, we have to switch to the other car design. Yeah, but he's like 2.3 mil. Wow. He was like 2.8, 2.9 yesterday. He's dropped off a lot. So there's just an opportunity to buy the dip. And for a lot of the rest of these cards, I'm still looking at these for potential investments. A lot of the Copa cards are starting to rise up as we're getting closer and closer to this starting. Like this Weston McKenney was 150K yesterday. I only bought like one or two. I'm wishing I would have bought like 10 because he's probably going to be like 190,000 coins, especially if we get the Tim Weah SBC or objective. That's going to be more Syria and USA links for those two guys. And a lot of people are also hitting level 21 or starting to hit level 21 where the USA striker Balogun is. And maybe people are wanting to throw him into teams with other USA players um so that's just kind of something that's happened on the market but in general these cards are still really good to watch to fluctuation trade with and they continue to rise so i'm still holding some of them as investments that i have like the kyle walker the hernandez and the middle stats that i bought yesterday for 65k this guy could literally be 100 000 coins again you want to look at the guys that have games that are favorable going forward in the next couple of days those are going to be the ones that start to creep up in price and as we get towards the middle of the end of this week these cards could just go up even more that's just one thing to consider and one other thing to consider is could there be an opportunity to buy them today with the sbc that is leaked that's what i want to talk about next because this is the next biggest thing coming to this game to be completely honest it's this pack code that was added yesterday 92 plus path to glory grades of the game icon slash hero or make your mark pack which contains one of well i guess there's four different types of players because you have the make your mark regular and the make your mark plus cards with the chemistry 92 plus now we have a pack come out on every single tuesday right we call it the gamble tuesdays it's been that way for ages and we had the 90 plus tots or ptg pack last week which was very heavily weighted towards the team of the seasons and i remember opening these last week and being like man these are not even worth opening because it's literally all tots cards I don't know very many people at all that got GOTG cards or Path to Glories, right? Hopefully, today, this 92 plus pack comes out. And since it's only Path to Glories and Make Your Marks inside of it, 
I would have to imagine that the Make Your Mark card, since there's a lot more of those and they're a lot cheaper, would be more packable from this. And those would be like the fodder cards that we would most likely see. But there's still a chance for PTGs. Like you give me a pack that gives me the opportunity of packing some of these PTGs like Pedri, Lukaku, Chiesa, Saliba, De Young, Saka, right? Even the Copa ones like Alvarez, who's going to go to max price probably the next day or two. Militao, who's four mil. Like, I'm there. I'm going to try that out. Why the heck not? That would be actually an upgrade pack worth crafting. So I think it could be today because this one's expiring. But also, that seems like a good enough pack that it could be replacing the PTG upgrade, um, which was released on Wednesday of last week. I don't know. I think we get either that pack today or something else. Game Ball Tuesdays has always been a thing. If we do get that pack, though, how is it going to impact the game? It probably will cause a little bit of a drop, but not a lot of one on the lower to middle tier cards, especially the ones that are lower rated, right? Like DeMarco's 400,000 coins and he's 96 rated. He's probably not going to get packed a lot from that upgrade pack. Middle stat, 93 rated. He's probably going to be more common, right? When you take a look at some of the other lower tier cards, like that Minda that I just packed from a pick, he's probably going to be popular. Johnston, Sanchez, Villamil, you know, other cards like maybe Okafor, Le Normand, kind of the bottom row. Those are going to be the cards that you see the most often. And even for some of these cards too, you know, the Lassiter, who I packed a ton last week, Borja, Alvarez, you're going to see those guys pretty often. But it's it's probably going to impact some of those prices a little bit. And even some of these cards that are in packs could be an opportunity to like buy one, stack it on your transfer list and stash it. Like Le Normand, he's one clean sheet away from going to 93 rated, right? And uh, if Spain can do that, maybe not in the next game because they're playing Italy, I think. That'll be a tough one. But that's the sort of investment that you could be making if the prices dip a little today. It could be one of the last times to get in on these cards before they go out of packs. I know we have a second week of this, but for some of these cards, it's all about the individual player, right? And you're investing in the individual player and their opportunities to be on the pitch, to score goals or assist, or to have clean sheets in a good defense, right? Because these upgrades are a lot more individual based than the PTGs. So I think this will create opportunities to buy the dip on some of the live cards because some of these live cards still are destined to go up. The other thing we have to talk about, of course, is fodder. I don't think this SBC would be mad cheap. Like the PTG upgrade last week was a lot cheaper than expected. I can't imagine that this one's less than like 100, 150K. I mean, it could be. I could be completely wrong, but I kind of would like it to be more expensive because that means the weight might be a little better. I don't know. That's just me talking because I think that the SBCs for the gamble packs that are a little bit more expensive tend to have a little bit better weight and they're more worth doing. And most of these Tuesday ones have been the lower tier ones, right? Like the one last week was pretty mid. And then the one on Wednesday with the PTG upgrade was better. So if you're talking fodder, anything between 85 to 88 rated is freaking fair game, to be honest, to go up today. I think I would watch the 85s the most. Like if you imagine them dropping an 85 and an 88 rated squad or an 85 and 87 rated squad for that, I think 85s could go up a decent amount. And it's not that easy to get fodder this week, as we've been saying. Sure, the 81 plus player pick is there, but I don't think people are really hyped to grind it as much as other weeks. 86 double, not as great. 85 player pick, whatever, right? It's not giving you a lot of quantity of the fodder. It's just a little bit higher rated for some of those player picks and the 86 double. So I think especially like 84s, 5s, 6s could go up a little bit this week. And if you want to make that investment, go ahead and do so. Also, Team of the Season cards, man. I mean, I keep looking at these. I think Team of the League cards are like 40K. This is another massive problem that needs to be fixed. Uh, and if they require those today, which they probably are because they keep requiring these in like every single other SBC, what are Tots cards? Like um, 45K as well or like 50,000 coins? 49,000 coins for these. That's crazy, bro. That is crazy. So if they require these today, they're probably going to go even higher as well. But that's just something I think it's becoming a, another big problem that EA need to fix up with. So that's the big pack that could be today, also could be tomorrow. And then player SBCs, right? The Kind of the trend has been the big player SBCs, the most hype ones drop on the Friday, the Saturday, the Sunday. And then like the ones that we get during the middle of the week are not as hype. So we have Posh uh, coming as an SBC or objective. That could be today. Also could be Tim Wea. And again, a lot of people are starting to theorize who is going to be our next um, objective card. I think a lot of people are assuming that we're going to get another champs bonus, right? Where we had the one nation champs, which I'm still trying to slug through 
it's rough out there trying to do this to be completely honest a lot of people are trying to think who could be next through this i doubt we figure it out until thursday which is when this was dropped last week um you know there could be leaks for that i don't know if there's going to be usually for objectives unless it's a player there's not so i wouldn't expect there to be leaks but i know there's a lot of speculation as of right now guys i don't know anything so maybe you watch out on twitter to see what would come for one of those but um yeah i'm not expecting there to be any leaks for that to be honest now one last thing to talk about are the games today. There's only two games today, but Portugal sees the pitch for the first time. If you have Rafael Leal or if you're a, a Ruben Diaz investor, you know, selling in the hype may be a part of your best interest today, or you could hold and their prices could go up. I think for Rafael Leal, most of these cards, the make your marks drop pretty considerably after the game. So I feel like the make your mark cards are the better ones to sell in the hype than the PTGs, to be completely honest. The PTGs have been withholding their prices and withstanding better, especially after they get upgraded. They just seem to go up. Even though Ruben Diaz is already up so much, like 2 million coins for this card seems mad. He's not even far away from being extinct. He could go extinct if he goes to a 97 rated card. Like, honestly, he could. Another thing with price ranges, these cards that have gone up so much are not far off from their max price. We might have a lot of PTGs that are extinct in the next week because they're not getting supplied tradable anymore and a lot of them are getting closer to the next upgrades with one more win so what's going to happen they're just going to keep going up so another thing to not like about the price ranges uh there today but again you've got turkey and georgia of course probably most people interested in the arta guler for the upgrade today and then kavicha as well you might as well just wait to do arta guler until they play today see if he's on the pitch which he should be and then boom you know or if he has a goal or an assist there haven't been that many actually has there been any players from make your mark that have gotten a goal or assist i was just thinking about that i don't know if there has been there's been um clean sheets like le normand got a clean sheet i think there's been a couple of others as well um for defenders but uh for goals and assists i don't know if we've had any which is kind of crazy now we're gonna have a team two coming out on friday which is something we haven't got leaks for there's still some other unknowns out there about who is going to be leaked some of the players that we thought were going to be in Team 1, other names that have been thrown around for SBCs, what is that going to look like? Are there going to be a large number of players in Team 2, or is it going to be lesser? Who knows, guys? We'll probably get some more information on that in the next couple of days. But today, I expect it to be Upgrade Pack Gamble Tuesday for the Make Your Mark slash PTG cards and the end of the first game week of the Euros and more prices moving up on the market. So it's a good time to be trading, good time to be investing. Hopefully EA can fix up on these price ranges and not lose any of you guys any more coins because it is the worst when that stuff happens. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the Twitch stream today. And that link is in the bio if you have not checked this out there. But if you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate for the count. I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. Peace out.